March 2019, the National Museum of Qatar, designed by architect Jean Nouvel, opened its doors. Ideon Klang developed a holistic audio design for the entire museum, from consulting on speaker design to guiding the audio content creation. Over 1.5 kilometers of exhibition space with massive audiovisual art film installations, the museum immerses the visitor in Qatar's history. International directors were commissioned to create movies for the galleries, combining a broad range of styles and themes. We are here in front of the National Museum of Qatar. In this project, our task was to do the main audio scenography for the whole museum, so how the visitor will walk through the galleries and experience sound scenography. Ideon Klang has been specializing in sound scenography for about 12 years now. Our focus on 3D sound for museum has allowed us to gather years of experience in speaker placement, audio content, multi-channel mixes, basically everything required to create exciting, immersive sound environments. An important role of Ideon Klang in this project is to understand the vision of the directors and understand the vision of the sound designers and the film composers and translate that vision into the space. From a sonic perspective, one defining feature of the museum is that all the spaces blend into each other. So when you are in one gallery, you see the adjacent galleries, and of course you can also hear them. So one important role for us in this situation was to make sure that all these vastly different art films can coexist next to each other without um, taking away from each experience. Uh, we achieved this by advising on every step of the soundtrack creation process. We developed a style guide for the sound of the entire exhibition with guidance and recommendations for all sound designers and composers. Schonobel's design is very different from a conventional museum architecture. There is no technical ceiling and everything in this gallery is visible. Even the projection surfaces are solid walls that cannot accommodate speakers. In close collaboration with Meyer Sound, we tested different speaker types that could deal with the unique acoustic conditions in the museum. The speaker design was a very challenging work as we had to consider the needs of the museum, the architects, the Doha Film Institute and the directors. We knew early on that we needed to involve WSDG to create an acoustic model of the entire space. The architecture is so complex and uh, unpredictable, there was no other way of making meaningful assumptions about how the space actually sounds when we add loudspeakers. Uh, we measured the existing conditions of the space and we modeled an exact model of the space in ease. So how close to reality can you get with the, the simulation tools we have? I'd say pretty close. We have every architectural detail in it. We have all the surfaces, um, including the surface properties uh, from the acoustical point of view, meaning absorption or diffusion coefficients. We can put in there the loudspeaker types with the exact directivities that they have. This allowed us to place the loudspeakers in advance inside the model and it gives you reassurance that you, you can present the result and say, okay, this is what we're going to achieve. We made premixes of all the films in the studio before taking them on site. The goal of these premixes was to sketch out the spatial distribution of the soundtrack, but in many cases also to add additional material. That was important because to make a rich and detailed mix for 50 speakers, you just need many more layers of sound than for a stereo mix or a 5.1 mix. Working in studio uh, in Basel, uh, uh, the power of the, the specialization could be, could be really felt there. Going through the studio made me realize how much was possible. As I 
das erste Mal im Museum ankam. Das war was ganz Besonderes. Ich habe sowas noch nie in meinem Leben gesehen und wusste gar nicht, was mich erwarten könnte. Und das war, das war einfach überwältigend, das zu sehen und zu erleben. Als Reinhold und ich im Museum ankamen, sollten wir die Mischung vorbereiten, dass die Setups stehen, dass es technisch einfach alles vorbereitet ist, damit man dann nur noch on-site kommen kann und mischen. Was braucht man, um so einen Job zu machen und was, welche Kompetenz hat man? Egal, wer da steht, zu sagen, okay, ich weiß, dieser Lautsprecher muss anders klingen. Das ist sozusagen die Erfahrung, wie der Lautsprecher solo funktioniert, aber auch gleichzeitig, wie ein Lautsprecher hier oben funktioniert. Das ist ein verkörpertes, wirklich ein erfahrenes Wissen, wo man eigentlich über die Jahre, Jahrzehnte eigentlich lernt. And arriving here with uh, Basel Premix, it just, it, it was just so magical. The minute we, we, we listened to it, we had this feeling that the magic was there. One main challenge in Gallery 2 was to use sound to attract attention. So if, if something happens on the back of you, Uh, you need a sound so visitor would turn around and look to the right screen. Another challenge was to make the mix right for all the different perspectives in the gallery. So it, it makes a huge difference where you actually stand, visually but also in terms of sound. There's also a large amount of speakers in the rest of the galleries, which are not directly linked to the pictures. So they're around us, they're giving this immersive feeling, they're in the ceiling, they're in other areas. What we can do, for example, is we can draw all the sound away from the picture and place it around the listener. to reinvent a language uh, and this was a part of, a, of, a, of the experience. Uh, everything was new, the sound makes it so much more powerful and the quality of the installation here, the fact that you can really pin a, a, a sound at, at a very precise place of the screen and have it move with an object allowed us amazing stories. This project was a real milestone for us. We could actually plan the audio from the very first step, create an acoustic model of the gallery, simulating all the speakers, bringing our expertise all the way to the final mix, and all that on an absolutely highest quality. It did everything that we had hoped it would do in terms of an immersive experience. It completely removes itself from you're watching a bunch of projections, you know? And the sound was critical to that because, sure, the video quality is such that it looks like you're looking through a window, but what the 3D soundscape did was take it off the screens and move it into the room. The final sound experience is absolutely beautiful and it completely makes the experience. So I see visitors walk through just stopping to listen because they suddenly hear something and it's unexpected and it attracts their attention, which is what we intended. So they start to look differently. So the audio is completely transformative. What I didn't expect was how pleasing it was to be able to move the sound as the images moved and to pay sort of homage to the 30 channels by discreetly locating specific sounds along the way. I just had no idea of how you know far it could go in expanding the experience. So it was just, yeah, just wonderful. So now I just feel like audio is everything. We have to, every project I do now, 
it's going to be, what are we doing with the audio? It's going to change it. 